Today is Wednesday, July 20th. My name is Todd Graff. This is Damian White, and this is The Gold Spot. All right, Damien, so I've been, I've been talking to a lot of people recently and, you know, everybody's very confused about what's going on with, with central banking, the Federal Reserve. You know, we see these meetings that the Fed has every, every few weeks and, you know, it seems to have a big effect on everything. Um, you know, but people are confused about how it really works and how it can affect everybody. Can you fill us in a little bit about how the Federal Reserve yeah, operates? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, really, their their main job is to control our our inflation and, and jobs for the economy. But what's really going on right now is their their monetary policy has been too lax for way too long, and this goes back all the way to 2008. But it accelerated after the um, March 2020 pandemic panic. Um, and so what's happened is they've been stimulating the economy. I mean, they were buying $90 billion a month of bonds um, and had interest rates at zero. And it created the economy to overheat and it caused inflation to get kind of where we are. I mean, there's a few extrinsic uh, factors that contributed to that as well. But um, they really should have been raising rates all the way back in the beginning of um, 2021. They waited about a year too long. They're still buying bonds. So what they're doing is they're feeding inflation. And since we're the, the reserve currency of the world, what we're actually doing is exporting our inflation to the rest of the world. And the other central banks are already raising rates. We're way behind the curve. So inflation is just entrenched right now. And we're starting to see um, disobedience, civil unrest in countries countries all around the world where other central banks have kind of mirrored our, our monetary policy. And so what it's doing is um, the inflation is, is everywhere, but some of the other countries, I mean, we are one of the richest country in the world, so it doesn't affect us quite as much. I mean, everyone's upset about it. Inflation is a real problem, especially food and energy. Um, but when you go to these other countries and the median income is $5,000 a year, or $2,000 a year, or $30 a month, whatever it is, um, they can't afford this kind of thing. And so they're actually overthrowing governments. I mean, we're seeing some real civil unrest. Um, and I think maybe you can explain or extrapolate a little bit on that of kind of what how that's reverberating around around other countries yeah yeah I mean it's it's happening all over the globe but one of the most recent examples I think is Sri Lanka you know their currency has devalued about 50 percent over the last few weeks compared to the US dollar and that's what's causing all the people of their country to I mean they they literally over overthrew their their prime minister he fled the country um, so it's obvious, you know, when currencies start devaluing fast like that, you know, hyperinflation, Venezuela, you know, that it's going to cause civil unrest right away because, you know, a, a, a population needs a currency in order to transact. You know, if that currency is devaluing day by day, you know, they don't feel safe. They're not able to buy the food, energy, the gas, everything that they need. And they will, you know, there will be civil unrest. We're starting to see it all over the, all over the world right now. You know, there's... Uh, things going on in the Netherlands with the farmers, you know, there's all sorts of problems and inflation does seem to be the underlying, you know, thing. People's currency is not buying what it what it used to. Um, so that is having a huge effect on that. And I think, you know, with with our Federal Reserve, you know, if they keep going with their policy that they've been this road they've been on, I think we're going to be in the same situation as a lot of these other countries. That seems to be the fear. Well, that's another factor is that people are thinking that the Federal Reserve is going to have to pivot, um, meaning that they're going to slow down the economy so drastically that they're actually going to have to switch and go back to those policies and start lowering interest rates. Um, but one thing I will say is that with the recent strength in the dollar creating a lot of this inflation around the world, it's caused metal prices to come down pretty significantly in the last four, maybe six weeks. It's given a great opportunity. Um, when prices are down, it's when you want to buy. The old adage, buy low, sell high, not the other way around. So I will say right now, you know, in regards to gold and silver, fortune favors the brave. All right. So the, yeah, that's it for this week for the gold spot. Join us next week and good luck out there.